Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, today we're going to go through a song. We're going to take the lyrics and we're going to examine what it's trying to say. Now, the song is called Written in the Stars and it's performed by Elton John and it's a duet, which means there's two of them. It's Elton John and Leanne Rhymes. Now, there's some difficult idioms and expressions in this song. That's why I've chosen it, and I thought it would be really good if we can go through it together. So, we're going to begin just in a moment with this song called Written in the Stars, but maybe it would be a really good idea if I explained, first of all, what written in the stars actually means. It's an expression, and I think you can probably guess that the idiom written in the stars suggests that something is destined or fated to happen. It implies that the course of events or the outcome of a situation is predetermined by some kind of cosmic force or higher deity, maybe, um, giving the idea that the stars or planets hold secrets to our destinies. And we use this idiom a lot, uh, to describe situations that seem to be inevitable, regardless of what we think about them. And of course, the things that we usually think are inevitable are bad things. So sometimes when there's no explanation for something, especially if it's regarding our emotions or relationships, we often say, well, maybe it's just written in the stars. And as you probably know, there's been many songs called Written in the Stars. I can think of at least two of them. So it is something that we say for things which are predetermined or feel like they're predestined to happen. It's just an expression, though. I mean, I don't think anybody thinks things are predetermined in that way, if that makes any sense. I think, well, maybe, maybe some people do. But um, anyway, that's what it means. So in this song, Elton and Leanne, uh, uh, they're doing this duet. And Elton begins by saying, well, I'm here to tell you, I am here to tell you that we can never meet again. Simple, really. Isn't it a word or two and then? So I think those lines are quite clear. I'm he- I am here to tell you that we can never meet again. Simple really, isn't it a word or two and then? A lifetime of not knowing where or how or why or when. You think of me, speak of me, or wonder what befell. Now, Befell is a really interesting word in English. If something befalls you, it simply happens. Okay, so we don't go around saying, oh, did you hear a terrible thing uh, befell in Joseph's life, for example. That's not how it works. It's very poetic. It's something uh, rather old But to befall, which is the present tense, means simply to happen or occur, especially something bad or unfortunate. Um, For example, a tragedy befell the town means a tragedy happened. You wouldn't really hear it even in uh, modern English in the news. It's more of a poetic thing. You're likely to find it in a fairy tale. So anyway, Elton is saying, I am here to tell you we can never meet again. 
Simple really, isn't it? A word or two and then. A lifetime of not knowing where or how or why or when you think of me or speak of me or wonder what befell. So, wonder what happened to me, basically. The someone you once loved so long ago so well. So, they've made someone into a noun here, and we, we do that in narratives. We sometimes, oh yeah, that's someone that passed me in the street, that person, uh, that someone that found my wallet, that handed it in. We sometimes use that, okay, that person, that someone. Remember, this is a song, okay, so... Um, is being a little bit fanciful with its words, but we do use that. For example, I can say, oh, I was talking to this woman at the bus stop the other day. She wouldn't shut up. In fact, that someone that was at the bus stop, she told me, so the someone. Yeah, so, yeah, that's... Um, that's uh, something that we do, okay? So that's the first verse of Elton singing. And then Leanne Rhymes comes in with the second verse. Oh, I don't like Leanne Rhymes. Oh, if ever there was a way to destroy a song, it's bring Leanne Rhymes in, honestly. Although, having said that, the video clip for the song is quite nice because uh, they're both floating in this crystal ball, as I remember. Um... Okay, so Leanne's part is a little bit harder. Um, and she says, Never wonder what I'll feel as living shuffles by. So she's using the imperative. She's telling him, never think about it, never worry. Yeah. Uh, so she says, never wonder what I'll feel as living shuffles by. Bit of a strange expression that. So she's saying, don't ever think about what I'll be feeling as living passes by. She's saying shuffles because if you shuffle, you move kind of slowly and uncomfortably, you know? Shuffling, yeah. Um, you know, like if if you're in the street and you see someone shuffling by, they're, they might have their hands in their pockets and they're not moving their legs properly. They're kind of shuffling, which means to take very small steps, you know? Um, and then she says... You don't have to ask me, and I need not reply, which is a very ultra-polite way of saying I don't have to do it. I need not, okay? So, um, if you're in an English lesson uh, and you ask me something uh, which you already know, I might say, look, I don't have to answer that because you already know, or I might say, I need not answer that because you already know. It's a little bit formal, but yeah, well, yeah, she's doing well. And then she says, every moment of my life from now until I die, I will think or dream of you and fail to understand how a perfect love can be confounded out of hand can be confounded out of hand. Now, remember, as I said, there are, this is a song, okay? So uh, it's a bit strange. Um, but confounded basically just means either puzzled or confused, frustrated or annoyed. It can be an expression of anger um, or of defeat. So she says uh, how the relationship can be confounded out of hand. So I suppose... What she means is just dismissed out of hand, I suppose, is what she's trying to say. Um, and then uh, Elton comes back with the next verse and she she sings uh, this part as well. Okay, so it's actually the chorus and they sing it together. Okay, and they say, is it written in the stars? Meaning... Was this destined to happen? Are we paying for some crime? Now, um, many people in England and here in the UK, uh, when someone goes to prison, 
we say, aha, they're paying for their crime. That means finally they are having to do something because they did a bad thing. You know, British people, we can be very moral. You can hear that in this post office scandal. It's not about something that's gone wrong. It's about who we blame. Somebody has to be responsible. We have to blame someone. So uh, here they're both telling us, is it written in the stars? Are we paying for some crime? Uh, is that all that we're good for? Just a stretch of mortal time. All that we're good for, it just means, is that our worth? Uh, just this stretch of mortal time. A stretch is a period of time. Okay, a stretch of mortal time and time, of course, is time, you know. So a stretch of time is uh, a period of time. So they tell us, uh, is it written in the stars? Are we paying for some crime? Is that all that we are good for? Just a stretch of mortal time. Is this God's experiment in which we have no say? in which we are not allowed to give an opinion. If you have no say at work, it means you have a boss who might not be allowing you to ask any questions, in which we're given paradise, but only for a day. So in this case, um, they're obviously saying that they were together for a little time, but they don't really know what happened after that. So there we are. That's um, uh, Leanne Rhymes and Elton John with Written in the Stars. Very nice song, that. I do like Elton John. I'm not so big on Leanne Rhymes, I have to say. Um, she, didn't she do that song, Can't Fight the Moonlight? That was a nice one from her, but uh, well, she's close to murdering this song. Uh, but still, uh, yeah, I, I do like the song, and... I first heard it uh, many years ago, long before Elton John had the hits, because it was written for a musical called Aida, which was a new take, I think, on an opera. Um, so that that was nice. Sometimes when you hear the song before someone kills it, uh, it's actually really nice, you know. So, yeah, it became one of my favorite songs. And then I heard Elton John singing it alone. So, yeah, yeah, that was still bearable. And then they brought Leanne Rhymes in when they released it as a single. Uh, well, I mean, that's uh, just Leanne Rhymes. So, anyway, um, those are the lyrics. So, it's a real kind of philosophical song, isn't it? Is it written in the stars? That phrase gives it a real dignity, doesn't it? So let me tell you how I use that phrase, written in the stars. Well, usually it's when you look back at an event that didn't happen for you or didn't go well. Or maybe, for example, you took a job and things didn't work out. And there's a feeling that it just wasn't meant for you. It wasn't meant to be, as we say in English. So that's exactly what it is. It was just written in the stars. You don't actually have to be a believer in astrology to say it. It's just a way of saying, well, I thought it would work, and it didn't. I took the chance, and it didn't work out. I'm surprised that ABBA didn't use it in one of their songs. They're always about regret and remorse, aren't they? But um, yeah, so that's how you use it. You just simply think about something that just wasn't supposed to be for you and you tried it, you gave it your best shot maybe and it didn't work out. That could be in a relationship, it could be maybe in a career path or a choice, maybe even a hobby um, and maybe something happened that stopped you. In a new job, it could be that you just decided it wasn't right for you. Let's say you wanted to become an actor and it just didn't feel right. Yeah, you could say, well, it was written in the stars and I'm happier now than I was then. So, yeah, it's usually with regret we use it. 
you can't really use it in the future to say it will be written in the stars. Um, in the past, yeah, it was written in the stars, okay, or it is written in the stars in the present, okay. Um, so, yeah, just something that wasn't meant to be, but usually it's a big thing, relationship, job, career path. We've all got them, you know. It was written in the stars, you know, and you kind of look over your shoulder as you get older and you think, ah, yeah, I wonder what would have happened if I had continued on that pathway, well, I'll never know. It was written in the stars. So a very uh, nice philosophical thing to say. It was written in the stars that that thing just wasn't going to happen. But please don't bring Leanna Rhymes. Is it her? Leanne Rhymes? Leanna Rhymes in to help you with that because she's brutal absolutely brutal. Anyway, that's it from me today. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's talk again soon. See you. Bye.